Over the years, statistics have shown that a large percentage of the Nigerian population rely greatly on using fuel wood to produce domestic heat for cooking, either outdoors in open fires or indoors with inefficient cooking stoves. This reflects a vast energy poverty in a country like Nigeria. Most Nigerian families are low-income earners. In the bid to cut down the cost of living, they resort to the use of fuel wood, which they consider to be cheaper and readily available, even when the use of such is not clean or efficient. Fuel wood gathering is energy sapping, time consuming, hazardous, and fatal where care is not taken. Women and children are more at the receiving end. It reduces their productivity level, takes children away from school. As a result of inhaling the smoke produced when cooking, they become ill, suffering from eye infections and diseases, asthma, tuberculosis, acute respiratory infection, lung cancer. Casualties from accidents sometimes occurs while cooking and results in skulls, burns, amputation of limbs, or death in some cases. People find themselves buying drugs and paying several visits to the hospital. This causes drain in finances. Those selling fuel wood will eventually run out of business because the trees are no more. An extension causing deforestation, desertification, loss of biodiversity, and the much dreaded global warming. Other consequences include soil degradation, soil erosion, siltation, salination, rapid deforestation, and air pollution. In order to curb this vast energy poverty, especially in the area of domestic heat for cooking. My name is Ewa Eleri. I am Director of International Center for Energy, Environment and Development. ICED provides the evidence base and political influence to address poverty in Nigeria. Even though Nigeria is Africa's largest exporter of petroleum, Nigeria has enormous energy poverty. 60% of all Nigerians have no access to electricity. 90 million Nigerians every day use wood fuel for cooking. Now smoke from wood fuel is causing 79,000 deaths annually every year in Nigeria. Nigeria's economy is dependent on export of petroleum products. Now petroleum products are the major culprits for the buildup of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. Now while the world is working very hard to reduce the role of oil in the in, in, in the global in global development we need to find alternative means of livelihood as a country so it is extremely important for us as a country that we begin to diversify our economy that's number one but number two is that 42 percent of our gdp comes from agriculture over 90% of agriculture depends on rainfall patterns. Now, the changing climate is the greatest threat that we have to Nigeria's agriculture. We need to find a way of building resilience in, agri in agriculture, especially protecting our farmers against uh, this changing climate. The European Union intervention on improving forward balance and several local government area of Casina uh, is funded by EU and is actually brought about by the gap in, in the deficit in fuel wood, which was conducted, uh, baseline was conducted to, to confirm this, thereby bringing Hoxfam and HiSE together to establish uh, a joint partnership uh, in tackling this issue by uh, working on agroforestry and also developing uh, fuel efficiency tool for these seven local government areas. Well, 
basically the project objective is to ensure that we have 35,000 stools disseminated across these seven local government areas and also to have uh, 5.5 million trees to have been planted and also uh, protected through the farmers renewable uh, approach and that's basically the project objective 5.5 million trees in four years 35,000 stores in four years that's the target of this project um, the project has been able to establish seven training centers across the seven local government areas and these training centers have trained uh, over 300 men and women on how to uh, make fuel efficient stoves and also participate in marketing of this stove effectively. The buying of the people has been quite tremendous uh, ranging from the traditional rulers, the ML of Daras supported us very well. The MF Cassina has also done so. We have also gotten a very big support from the state government and the NGOs within these areas. So if you're looking at it across the stakeholders, we have gotten a quite tremendous support in terms of our project activities and how far we have gone. And I think that has actually uh, shown how far how successful we are because sustainability is key and buy-in of the people ensures sustainability of the project. So far so good. We have uh, been able to get um, over 3,500 stores uh, in and out of the, of the production areas. Uh, this is going to be improved upon by looking at other alternatives to ensure that stores are more uh, quickly disseminated more into household. But so far so good. I think we have gotten like 10% of what we are expected to do in the last 28 months. Okay, we were able to engage the community as we implemented a direct project with them. We met with the stakeholders and their gatekeepers, such as the Nyangwa, the Imam, youth leaders, women leaders, and we sat down together with them. We needed them to own the project. After the end of the project, we needed acceptability and ownership for the project. So we had to carry them along from the very start. With the community members, we were able to identify a location where our training center was built. And with them, we were also able to identify quarters, male and female quarters. And some delays were also recommended for us by the community members. And we trained the women and the men partners also have a business development plan workshop for them. And so far so good, the project is a community-based project and there is that kind of ownership by the community people. They see it as their project and the project has also made a lot of impact on them such that the women are now self-reliant they are able to to add to their skills acquisition and also their daily earnings and from few of them that I spoke with some even told us that they are able to eat meat not only on salad days because of the project. When they sell, they are able to take good care of their children, pay some little, little hidden charges of school fees, and life is a little bit better for them than it used to be. A massive sensitization was carried out to sensitize the people on the need for them to use the store. 
We also carried out user acceptability tests where cooking demonstration was also carried out. We demonstrated how to use this tool. And during the user acceptability test, they themselves found out that the stove, the usage of the stove does not really need degree. You don't need to be educated. It's the same way that you light our local three stand stoves. That is how you still light this. The only difference is that this clean cook stove is economical, it's fast in cooking, it saves time, it saves uh, energy. Health wise, there is no much, no smoke, uh, no smoke at all, and there is nothing difficult about the stove. The producers are the people or entrepreneurs in the locality with the background of poultry or ceramics business, a local ceramics business. They are the people we have trained and successfully they are happy at the way we met them and now at the project in the midterm, the way they are doing, even from in their houses, you can see the difference between before we are coming and as we came how their life is going on uh, because of the project and what they are benefiting from the project. In terms of production, yeah, the project has a target of 100,000 fuel wood reduction stove in the 35, uh, uh, in the seven local government area of the project. And uh, the success about the production, you can see people, even though it's a new technology that's introduced to the people. So we are not producing and giving out free. We are producing and sell. So because of the new technology, people, before you change the attitude of the people and the awareness, people to get aware about the product, you need to take there is some little uh, challenges initially at the beginning but now with the uh, uh, order from left right and center the people are aware about the importance of the dining cool stove they are now busy in fact looking for where to get it and that's what will yield a better result for the production. So these people are producing this stove. In fact, they didn't even wait for us to tell them, okay, produce. We give them the training, we give them the, pro the, the starter tools, the production, if you go to the centers, we have seven centers in each of the seven local government area. So the production everywhere is going on. People are now producing because they are now receiving order on their own and individually and in bulk. What I mean by in bulk, uh, the wholesalers, people are buying in, the, like our local marketers are buying in bulk for their own uh, uh, marketing and to get the benefit from what, from the product. So the, in the terms of production, it is going on smoothly and people, but the producers, we, the uh, People at the middle between the producers and the end users are happy with the way the production are going on. The producers are happy with the way their product, what they are producing is going into the market. And the end users are happier because of the advantage of what they are buying. I see the approach to disseminating clean cook stoves on this project is what we call market-based approach. And what, why we intend, I mean, why we used market-based approach is basically because subsequent, I mean, previous projects that have uh, been to our project area have come and they have gone, and there is no sustainability because the beneficiary we are not making money from it so that is why i see 
decided to say okay we are using the market-based approach whereby people will take the stoves produce to the market and they will make money from it they are making profit from it part of the project goal is to ensure that the trained entrepreneur make LD cash flow and we did a lot of things part of what we did include we conducted market fair to stimulate demand for the clean cook stores we also run i mean ran uh, some radio and tv jingles in order to also support the marketers selling our clean cook stores nonetheless the uh, the project also encouraged bulk purchase we met senators, uh, House of Rep members, and also honorables in, within the project area to buy in into our project and pay money for their people that cannot afford to pay for the clean cook stove, thereby using it as their own personal constituency projects. And we also use a you if you look at our stoves like this, you dis you discover that there is what we call brand name, which is Dadinkoa. Dadinkoa simply is an Hausa name meaning good for all. Part of what we we were using is we use direct marketing approach whereby the potter produce themselves and take it to the market. We have seven production centers and they are also serving as our market centers. They are serving as our own marketing centers. And we also have seven product centers apart from the production centers that are accessible in all the project areas. Uh, nonetheless, we have our Dilalis. Dilali have access to the stoves in their home whereby they sell and remit the money back to the producers to ensure sustainability. Kuma da yawa mutane gwargwadon iko sun sai a cikin wannan gari na mu na mashi kuma suna amfani shi kuma suna jin dadin shi abin da ya karanci yanzu shi murun ya karanci wanda jama'a suna son shi ba inda za su so shi saboda haka shine mu ba mu da wani abin da za mu ce sai mu ce ita wannan kungiya da ta kawo wannan murhu ko kuma wannan gwamnati da ta kawo wannan murhu muna jin dadin shi idan akwai hali yanda za a za a ƙara bude shi a ƙara bunƙasa shi domin wani gidan mutumin da ke da gidan ɗan mata ne da ya ce da ɗan ƴan shi biyu wani kuma mata ne mata ne huɗu ne da ƴaƴa ne kamar 28 ko 30 ko 40 yayi kaɗan ga faɗi ne na manyan tukanan da muke da su saboda haka roƙon da nake ga su a nan kamfani su ƙara bude shi su ƙara ba shi faɗi yanda babba tukunya za ta hau suna faɗi cewa babba tukunya za ta hau irin manyan da suka ba mu to gaskiya wata tukunyar ta hai ƙarfin shi wannan murhun amma duk da haka nan mu dai muna jin dadin shi na farko hayaki yayi kadan ba irin hayakin nan bane wanda ke sa mata hawaye kuma suna sa musu rishin lafiya yanzu hayakin cikin murhun daga murhun daga murhun sai cikin tuku sai bisa tukunya saboda haka kuma akwai tsafta a cikin shi wannan murhu saboda baya aje to ka da ko baya bata baya bata kitchen da ya gaskiya mu dai muna gani amanar murhu to da ka inda hali a wa'annan company da ke tayar da wannan murhu shi ƙara fadada murhun kuma shi yi shi inda jama'a za su saya kuma bisa ga farashi mai sauki kuma jama'a suna jin dadin wannan murhun kwarai da gaske kamar yanda ni na fadi domin yanzu yanzu a je gidana za a iske ta shi a ke amfani ko da yake ni mata masu zuwa gidana sun san gidana ina amfani da wannan murhun a matsayi na na wakilin iya a iya so ya fadi magana to amma iya ba jin dadi yana cikin ba jin dadi saboda haka ba zai iya wata magana ba amma ni da nake zuwa wurin zurga zurga murhun nan naga yanda ake raba murhun nan naga yanda ake yin shi naga yanda ake yin shi na san halin da murhun nan yake ciki 
so da gorgoren iko go so awwa na murhon na nasa su so da kuma murhon na yana da amfani ko muna godiya ga su an da ke aikin wannan murhon suna tsayar dare da rana muna tare da su kuma duk ya'yan mu ne ke wannan aikin so da ka mun gode ko yadda gaskiya ina fata Allah zai mai da ku gida jan ku lafiya alhamdulillah ah assalamu alaikum ni ne mai kudi Ibrahim Machinawa mun samu ci gaba matuka game da harkokin wannan sana'o'i irin wanda muke yi na gargajiya na murhu dadin kowa bayan haka nan bayan ni din nan na yi training na kuma tafi da jama'a da yawa an koyar da mu kuma mun zo mu ma har mun koyar da wa'an su gashi nan maza da mata ana ta ci gaba da wannan aikace aikace saboda haka wannan abu wa karman abu bane na jin dadi ni musamman ma a gare ni domin inda din nahita yanzu kasuwan ni da wuraren biki jama'a sun san ni akan wannan al'amari wanda ya faru na murhu dadin kowa saboda haka mun ci gaba ko wannan ruha kawai da akai mana ba karamin ci gaba bane a wurin mu saboda dai mu da kudaden mu ba za mu iyayinta ba kuma akwai wani lokaci wanda da kamar mu fara yin wannan aiki anan muna tafiya wasu kasashe ci rani ya gashi Allah ya kamu lokaci ba mu zuwa ci rani nan muke tsa muna yin sana'an nan kuma shugabannin mu su zo su saya kage wannan ba karamin ci gaba bane a wurin mu saboda haka alhamdulillah wannan abu sai godiya mu Allah godiya matuka bakin gurgudan iko kuma abin da gashi muna ci gaba dai ba a fasa yi ba rishin ci gaban shi ne in ka buƙaci su zo su yi su nuna cewa sai an ba su kudi kan nan sai to wannan abu ko ba haka bane mu mun samu ma jari albarka wannan sana'a bakin gurgudu kuma da haka muke ta tahiyar da ita saboda haka alhamdulillah nema Allah godiya ga maza da mata na ana ta ci gaba da wannan sana'a kuma daga cikin ma yanzu akwai mataimaka na anan mazan da matan wanda su kan san aka buƙaci su bayani za su yi a cikin idi ci amman mata ta murahu dadin kowa da aka kawo mana wannan kokari da ci gaba da taimako da tallahe alhamdulillah mun gode ma Allah mun gode ma ya rabbi mun ƙaru ci mun samu ci gaba kuma mun samu taimako taimako da tallahe na matan arewa da aka dogara mana alhamdulillah ga ni ga mata ɗan uwana muna sana'a ta ci gaba yanda za a yi ta office a nemo abin da za a taimaka mu iyali mu ma ga munan muna hitowa bakin kokarin mu a rumfan mu muna aiki yanda za mu samu abin da za mu mu taimaka mu iyalin mu da mai gida an ya tahi kan ya dawo da dan cefane da abin da ya rage bakin kokarin mu na mata za mu iya kama mashi wannan kuma kokari da muke yi Allah ka taimake mu Allah ka ba mu sa Allah ka karo mana ci gaba dangi na ɗan uwa mata ku dage ku ba da himma ku ba da kokari mu zo mu samu ci gaba mu kwato yancin mu da na kasan mu da na mazajen mu muna kama suna jin dadi alhamdulillah kuma ga mu rahu an kawo mana saukin kowa muna da ice biyu za mu yi girki sahe da marice murhun nan gidan kowa kusan akwai shi ana ba da kokari da taimakon shi ana ta jin dadi ana ta fifita shi ana ta ce a ba da kokari a samu kokari ai murafin nan suna da dimbin yawa saboda karuwa da ci gaba da taimakon masu gida mu mu tallafa a mazajen mu mun karu kuma can gida ma wanda ya saya ma tace ta tallafa mai da yawan dimbin abun wuta za a rige sauran kudi a sai magi a sai gishiri a sai dodowa a yi nuka alhamdulillah we are in mashinawa production and marketing center as we can see this is how the project has been empowering the men and the women because part of the project goal is to empower at least 25% women participation and from what we have seen on ground we can see that we have even surpassed that a lot of women are doing production they are also doing marketing of our clean cook stoves um is to the essence of it is also to build their capacity so that they will be able to be self reliant they will, a lot of them have given testimony that now they can even fend well for their family and they also send their children to schools unlike what is obtainable before they were not able to even feed well and even send their what to school so the project has done a lot in the life of the people in Machinawa community of Dusi local government area in the last 28 months the project has uh, 
be able to establish a strong value chain for the store business. It's as at the last count, we have 116 uh, actors, active actors, uh, which consist of porters, meta workers, the microfinance institution. And between this value chain, we have been able to establish a, a cash flow of almost six million naira, thus showing how viable this stroke business is. Uh, between this one and 16, there has been uh, a business for production, for sales, f putting money in a microfinance institution around them. It, it actually has improved livelihood and also does also help in reducing some uh, health issues and more importantly, reduction in the number of trace cuts. We hope as the, progress, uh, the, the project progresses, we have more of actors within the value chain. We have more of less complaint about uh, cooking challenges from the women. And more importantly, we have a better society that is empowered to continue to support a healthy environment. My name is Dixon Ode, staff of ICID. I am here to demonstrate how easy it is to use the clean cook stoves, the Dadinkoa stove. Now, how to use the Dadinkoa stoves? I have my firewood here with me, I have my pots, and then I have my ignition materials, the polythene bag and a matches. Now, if you don't have a very dry firewood, uh, you can make use of a little kerosene to uh, ignite the light. But where you have a very dry firewood, there, there won't be need for kerosene or any other thing. So you fix in your firewood, just two sticks, three sticks maximum. You make sure you don't stack the firewood in the firewood inlets. As few wood as possible. And you also make sure you, the firewood doesn't get to the end to touch the wall of the stove inside. You leave it at the center so that the air inlet, the air can have a free flow to blow the fire. The fire. You can see how beautiful the flames are coming up. And then you put it, you can have a bigger pot for your cooking, depending on the size of the pot. You can take as a uh, larger pot than this one. You can see the water is already boiling. Within two minutes of setting the fire, the water is already boiling. From the demonstration we've just carried out, the Dadinkoa stove proved to be efficient. You can use it with less firewood, gaseous emission reduced to barest minimum, and you can save more money into your pocket because you buy few uh, little firewood to use your stove. And so I encourage everybody to buy the stove, Dadinkoa stove, get it into every household, and let's save our environment.